What's up guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group and in this video I would like to focus on the Loop Builder, the feature we've added recently in 26.7 version. I'm really excited to finally present it to a wider audience as this will change your perception of creating custom sliders and lists based on posts, portfolios, products, etc. From now on, you will not be limited to specific items, but you will be able to create your own. In a moment, I will present it to you in the most accessible way. So let's get down to the specifics. What can we actually create with the Loop Builder? It can be any slider or list filled with items from post, portfolio, clients or even shop. Let's say you want to create a slider with recently added products bestsellers or on sale products it's not a problem at all now maybe you are in the process of creating your store's homepage and want to present categories in a special way this will no longer be a problem either or maybe you would like to create a list of posts by own criteria this can also be done in a few simple steps what's more in addition to creating your own list or slider you can freely style them according to your own needs. These elements are only a small part of what you can create using our Loop Builder. A lot depends on your creativity and needs for, for a given project. Let's discuss the process of creating a slider and the list I just mentioned already. So, you can create loops both in sections and wraps, depending on the layout you actually want. First. Let's focus on the simpler loops in wraps. Let's click on the addition of the selected wrap and then in the settings uh, tab, just click on query loop type. The border of the wrap changes to pink color and the wrap loop label appears next to it. As I mentioned, uh, for this tutorial, I will focus on posts, but you can switch to the terms as well and if you do this, you will be able to select from taxonomies like post categories, post tags, portfolio categories, etc. But like I said, uh, I will focus on the posts themselves right now. We can now add elements to the wrap. I will add heading and image. Inside the elements, we use dynamic data, which I discussed in the previous video. In such case of image, select the featured image tag, and reduce the bottom margin in the advanced tab. In heading, I will put the title and change the tag to H4. Note that the elements we add are duplicated to show the appearance of subsequent elements in the loop, but we only edit the first one and the rest inherits its settings. We have now a preview of our layout, but everything is in one column and we want to have three. So we go back to editing the wrap and in the style tab, we change the width of the item to 33.3%. And this tab, we can change the styles of a single loop container, change background, add border and much, much more. However, if you decide to use the slider I mentioned at the beginning, just go up and select display type to slider. After clicking this option, more options available for the slider will be shown, but more on that in another tutorial. In the case of loops and sections, we have even more control over the appearance because we can create layouts based on multiple wraps. Here's an example of a list with the images on the left and title and description on the right. This layout is great for a store with fewer products and you want to put a description right away. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.